Hey guys, it's actually a really gorgeous day here in South Florida. Um, we have our house all shuttered up and we are waiting for this storm. And um, it's a little, it feels a little different outside. It's a little breezy, kind of feels like fall. I mean, not, it's weird. It's breezy and nice and calm, um, but it's still really muggy and humid. So um, definitely, um, feels a little different though and uh, one thing I've learned about this storm this hurricane business is um, it's teaching me patience and so my Bible verse is on patience today Romans 5 4 says and patience produces character and character produces hope um, this whole thing with the this hurricane is um, pretty wild because, oh, I have a friend coming to say hi. Hi, baby. Yeah. The horses seem pretty calm. Um, the, the thing with it is that um, we just don't know. We actually just don't know what's gonna happen. And, um, you know, you can pretend these, these meteorologists that are, that are predicting, um, you know, I, I know that they have all these models and they have all this science and um, they're, they're making good predictions, they really are. But back in Hurricane Andrew, um, I was actually in Gainesville, Florida for Hurricane Andrew when it hit um, Dade County back, you know, down in Miami and that was like in 93. Um, that was, or 92, I don't know, I was, at, I was there in 92 and 93. Anyway, um, I saw a video and it looked like it was going at the coast exactly like Dorian and then it just completely uh, surprised everybody and slammed into Miami and or my, like very very South Florida so I I'm just kind of humbled at the whole experience and I realized that you just have to be prepared and you have to be patient and um, being prepared is, is the most important thing. And so we're just kind of waiting. It's a waiting game and it's a little frustrating, but it's okay. That's um, it's what we're gonna do. And, and we're praying that um, we're gonna be okay. And really um, more than anything today, we're praying for the Bahamians. Um, poor Bahama, the, the Bahamas has um, just been devastated and I just feel awful for them. And I'm watching footage and just, just makes me cry how horrible um, it looks there. And they just have just been hammered. Um, so my song today is just a, just a sweet, great praise and worship song called Good, Good Father by Chris Tomlin. And um, I've praised and worshiped with this song um, for a long time. It's a, it's a really good song. And I think it just tells us that um, he's... He is, he is here and he is gonna take care of us. And um, no matter what, God is bigger than we are and that uh, we, we should not fear. There was a video of a mom in the bathroom with her kids and she's just praying her heart out. And that made me cry because she's holding her babies and hanging out in the bathroom, just praying that, um, telling God he's, he is, he's the one, he's the savior, he's gonna take care of them. And um, this breaks my heart uh, for them. Wish that we could do something, I feel so helpless. But anyway, um, let's pray for the Bahamas today. And, um, and that's, oh, got a bug. <laughs> so pray for them, um, we love them and we wish that we could do something right now. Unfortunately we can't, but hopefully we can in the future. Have a great day, keep you in the loop, bye.